Hello there, it is Tyler here once more, and today we're going to do some work in Citrus. Just make ourselves a nice sound here for some videos that we'll be doing entitled Patchmaker Patchmaker, which all you Fiddler on the Roof fans are going to enjoy that title. But basically the idea here is just going to be, we'll work on some presets, making all kinds of different things eventually in all the different videos that we'll do. And for now I'm in Citrus, but that doesn't mean I'll have to be all the time. So if there are any requests for different synthesizers or whatever different kinds of sounds you might want to hear or see made in these different synthesizers, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to oblige. But like I said, once we have a bunch of presets here, we'll give you a download for all those. That way we have a nice preset pack for everybody to enjoy. And you saw how they were all made, as well as contributed maybe a little bit if you leave some comments. But this will be a good opportunity to explore some things here in Citrus and other synths. Because of course Citrus is a big very versatile synth that I enjoy quite a lot and there's all kinds of things you can do with it that I certainly don't mind taking the opportunity to do so. Before we get rolling feel free to like and subscribe if you're interested in liking or subscribing but with that let's get ourselves going here. We'll get an initialized preset just a basic sine wave and we have our wave candy to show the spectrum here if you're interested in a visualization. And so starting with something simple, we're going to do the super saw. And super saws are good for everything, one way or another. Uh, we're going to route operator 1 into the filter 1. That way, like the volume and the cutoff and everything like that will all be the same thing. So we can route that out. And right now we have that filter. For now, we're not going to worry about that too much, but eventually we'll probably play with it a bit. We have our saw wave that we made for operator 1, but we're going to give us some unison. And we can change the pitch amount. And I'm going to change the unison phase. And that makes it so it doesn't start out so nasty at the beginning. A little bit smoother of an attack. And also for that purpose, I'm going to go into the phase here and into the randomness and I'll just give a bit of a curve how this works is it'll basically just add some randomness it doesn't really matter for the curve necessarily but we'll just give some random phase movement for the triggering of these different unison voices just so they're different from each other and then I think I'll also add in another operator I'm gonna get that to a saw but I'm also gonna make it a little bit different route that into the filter just so they're a little bit different from each other, I'll do a little bit different randomness as well. And mainly my purpose is just mixing. Anything to get whatever amount of sharpness to your sound. So nothing too crazy here. I think I'll even add a noise operator. I'll just turn the noise up for three here and right clicking to mute those. That one's just noise. Just to dirty it up a bit. We'll give a volume envelope to this whole amount of operators routed to filter one. I need a little bit less of that noise here. And I click tempo there, and that just turns on the envelope and also syncs to the tempo, but I don't think I really need it synced to the tempo for this, so. I'll give it a bit of a tag because what we're going to do here is take the lines here set for decay and also for sustain. And we're going to edit those on the main tab because I want to be able to change those a bit. So when we turn down attack for the volume here, we can basically offset from whatever we set for the volume envelopes. And we're going to be able to do the same thing for the filters, which we're going to add in. I'm going to reset this to 50% and just click on for the filter tab and I'm gonna give it the same thing as the volume 
so that they're roughly the same. We can, of course, copy that directly for the state of that envelope and then paste it into whatever different envelope, but they're basically the same. You will notice that the cut is bipolar, so the little bit of different shading means that you'll go under and over the cutoff amount. I am going to turn off the release here, so I'll just delete that point. That way the filter won't go down after we release the note. But similarly, we can put the sustain up. I'm going to leave the attack down also. And it's like we're setting our filter area just with these ADSR controls for filter. And we also do the same for the volume. I'm also going to route the sound from filter 1 through the effects a little bit. And by default that has a bit of chorus on it. And I'm also going to turn on some reverb. That's kind of a fun sound. Nothing too crazy other than a pretty straightforward super saw. Uh, let's also link the resonance here to uh, mod X. So we'll just make it so it'll go up a bit. I'm going to reset it to 50% so that way, since this is also bipolar, it'll go down when X is turned down. Let's find... Uh, And that'll just be adding modulation of the resonance of the filter onto the Mod X in the matrix on the main tab. And as a pretty basic super saw, we hit most of the points here. We can probably drop the order a little bit here. We wouldn't want to go too low because you can kind of get a bit of interference that negatively affects the sound but since we have two operators that are doing different things we can even do things maybe have some uh, pitch randomness if we want to stretch out a little bit hold alt and then we don't snap there just a tiny bit of randomness or if we went crazy with it you'd have a greater amount of randomness on the pitch, but that slight bit of randomness can help add to the super saw effect made by all the different voices. And taking this further, we can do things to make the sound a little different, but for now, we'll call this good for the first little setup of the Patchmaker Patchmaker videos, and we got ourselves a cool little super saw out of it. Maybe we'll come back to it, maybe we'll do more with it, but for now, this is a good little bit of sound design that we've been able to play with. So with that, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Ask if you want something specific later on. If you want more of Citrus, more of another synth, more sounds, different sounds, or any other questions you may possibly have, just leave a comment. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.